Hello, this is the Meta Man, and welcome to the second in a series of two videos. Yesterday, I did a video on Voxies, the fundamental analysis. In other words, I told you all about how wonderful the game was, and it really is a wonderful game. Just go right here, and you can learn about the game itself, the fundamentals of the game, the tactics, and the NFTs. But in this, the second out of two, I'm going to be talking about the technical analysis. This one is much briefer. Enjoy, enjoy. But remember, it's entertainment and education, it's not financial advice, but you knew that. So let's look at the most important page for technical analysis, and that's the graph. And I got the graph from coingecko.com. So on your screen now, you can see Voxies, and its symbol is V-O-X-E-L. It started life just over $2, and not long ago, just three months ago, December 14th, of 2021, it's now March 12th of 2022. So it's just three months old. And it's not that it's a bad coin. It's not that it's a bad game. Actually, as you'll learn from yesterday's video, it's a really fascinating game. It's a really, really good game. But because Bitcoin has fallen from November of last year till now, and you can see an exciting video on the price of Bitcoin right there. There's, it, it's really hard for any coin to go up when Bitcoin is going down. It's like when the tide goes out, all the ships go down. There's not much they can do about it. Can some coins go up? Yes, but very, very few. And even when they go up, they're muted in the amount they can go up because Bitcoin is going against. Right now, the price is $1.32, and the lowest it's ever been, you can see on the right-hand side at the bottom, the lowest it's ever been is $0.91, cents, and the highest it's ever been right after it opened was $4.70. And right now, it's way closer to its bottom than its top. In fact, it's almost at its all-time low. So what can we learn? The market cap is $48 million. That's still pretty small, especially for a game. And the proof that that market cap is small is that its market cap rank is 577th. Now, what is the prospect for this coin? Well, let's look at the downside. There seems to be a base at a dollar. One dollar is always a psychological barrier, a floor. And you can see that on the 24th of January, it got near a dollar twice, not at the dollar, but near a dollar, and then bounced right up. And then on February 21st, it actually hit a dollar and bounced back up. And right now, on the right-hand side of the graph, it went down to just over a dollar and is bouncing up a bit. So a dollar is a pretty strong base. That gives us some confidence that Voxel, V-O-X-E-L, will not likely go below $1. On the other hand, if it does, there is no support. It could drop down to 50 cents or 20 cents. There is no support. So this is a bit of a risky, risky, aggressive. This is not a coin for conservative investors. Now, that's the bottom. Now let's look at the top. Let's look at how high it could go. Well, it looks like as I explained in yesterday's video, that it's a really good game. And if it catches on, it could go up very high. It's been to almost $5. It could easily go to $10, especially if Mr. Bitcoin starts moving up. Bitcoin fell from November of last year, 2021, to right now from about 70,000 US dollars per coin down to about $40,000. If it rises slowly, it may not make much difference. If it rises quickly, then all the altcoins could take a big ride upwards, especially the low cap game coins. And I think that if this game coin catches on and it as I explained yesterday, it looks like it's going to be a really good game, then it could easily go to $10 or much higher. Now, if it goes to $10, then that means roughly 10 times more than it is now, 10x. 
then it would go from roughly 48 million to 480 million. And that would still put it fairly low in the market cap rankings. And so it could easily go 10x. And if it is an extraordinarily successful game, then it could go way more than 10x. So from the technical analysis, it's too dangerous for conservative investors. Because if you buy now at $1.32, or even if you put in a cheeky order at a dollar and five cents, in other words, just above one dollar, then you may well get a fill. And if it goes up, that's great. If Bitcoin goes up, that's great. But if Bitcoin keeps consolidating somewhere in the $40,000 range, or heaven forbid drops to its next level of support, which is $20,000, then all the altcoins could, would go down and this one could go to 50 cents or 20 cents. So if you're faint of heart and you don't like losing money in a coin or in any investment, this is not for you. But for a small percentage of your portfolio, and if you can handle risk, this could be a coin that has a big downside and a big upside. Not the best technical analysis. What you want is a small downside and a big upside, but this one has a big downside and a big upside. So that's the MetaMan's statement that it is for the not faint of heart. It's for aggressive only and for only a very small part of your portfolio. Remember to subscribe and to comment and to share and to like, as always. And you are now way smarter than you were just a few minutes ago. And as always, I love you. Please click on Meta in order to subscribe to my channel. And please click on this video, which is my most recent video, my previous one. And please click on that video, which Google and YouTube think is the most appropriate if you enjoyed this video.